Right, when it comes to changing seasons, we often think about changing our wardrobe, our hairstyle, but have you ever thought about changing your home decor when the season changes? Yeah, well, joining us to tell us how we can up our decor every season is Jesse Sierra Ross, author of Seasons Around the Table, effortless entertaining with floral tablescapes and seasonal recipes. So welcome, Jesse. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. First of all, your book is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. and. I forget how you can elevate your home or your mood just by look, this is something you would pass every day or even if you have people over, it is absolutely gorgeous. So how should we go about creating the masterpiece that you, that you have <laughs> created? Well, I have to first point out, everything on this table can be found at your grocery store or in your home. It could be that china that's sitting in the back of the closet that you can just kind of dust off and burn out. These placemats we use every day with my kiddos at home to have supper. This is a cupcake stand. Anything can be repurposed, reused, and then elevated mm. to really bring the season into your home. And as you mentioned, changing of the seasons, the best way to do that is to start with your dining room table. Okay. So what I like to do is to swap out all of the summer decor, we know the shells, yeah. the sort of sandy colors, maybe those bright pops of turquoise and mm -hmm. orange. Right. We're going to bring in the fall colors. Okay. So these tend to be reds from apples or sugar maples. We have some purples over here, oranges, things that reflect the season because color really tells a color story. Right. And it's going to tell your guests and you yourself as you're living in your space, right. it's fall time. I okay. like that. So let's start from the beginning. Mm -hmm. So how you started this whole tablescape. So the very first thing I do before even taking out my china is thinking, do I have a theme? Mm, do okay. I have a color palette? Yes, I sort of have a, a theme here. It's an orchard harvest, harvest table. A lot so, of people are apple picking. Exactly. Right now. Okay. And so we're going to focus a lot on these big pops of color the apples, the pears, the pomegranates. If you have access to plums or grapes, those are an amazing tool. Mm -hmm. But we're going to bring the natural world into our homes. So the very first thing, we decide our colors. The second thing we're going to do is decide and set our table with an anchor piece. For me, that's a runner and then a beautiful centerpiece. Okay. Like that. We, you can make this at home. Right. I mean, it's easy peasy. Grab your grocery store flowers. I was going to say the bodega flowers right yeah, there. Exactly. They're, they're underestimated. They the, really the are. Beauty. They truly are. And if you have, say, a rose that's a little bit wilty, simply pluck off those outer petals. Mm -hmm. And this is a trick. Oh, I want to know the trick. Yeah, yeah. Open them up. Oh. Isn't that neat? What? Yeah. It's simply <gasps> touching right here. Okay. Pop. And you can really enliven oh. those roses. Look Pop them into cold wow. water with a little bit of food, and now I you have, have a great never rose. Seen that. So I shop a lot in the bargain bins because yep. those poor flowers deserve some love too. That's right. That's right. Um, yes, every so flower deserves some exactly. love. Exactly. <laughs> so we picked out our star, which is these roses right here, and then we added some filler. Some of this filler I bought at the grocery store. Some of it actually came from my yard. Beautiful. There's grasses. There's flowers. I mean. Pick and choose what you have, because right. the emphasis should be fancy, but not fussy. Right, mm. I like Don't that. Don't break the bank. Tell us about the rule of three when it comes to a tablescape. So the rules of three are very interesting. Okay. So we are naturally attracted to odd numbers of items. Mm. So in interior design, it's something they use often. So we like groupings of three and five. And if you look across this table, oh. you'll see my small decor ads are in groups of three. Our eyes naturally track and try to find those elements and we take a lot of pleasure actually in it so if you can sort of arrange your elements whether they be votives decorative items I was mentioning before we started rolling <laughs> yeah these are Christmas ornaments that I've huh. repurposed that is we so have small cool. flower arrangements threes and fives make a really beautiful table stape layout and it's easy to remember right and it doesn't have to be the same item no right in not that at grouping all. right not you at can all just mix it up exactly it can be different heights it can be different sort of volumes but it's really the number that's important threes and fives i need to hold this up because this is absolutely <laughs> adorable this is her christmas ornament yeah. so again you didn't go out shopping you no. went shopping in your attic or in yes. your your closet mm -hmm. Exactly. The storage bins. The my storage my bins. garage and grandma's attic. Beautiful. I mean, find your vintage plates, bring them out. And if they mismatch, you can see right here, these don't match. This doesn't match. But it's it the same color palette. Match. Exactly. Good beautiful. eye. Exactly. It's a neutral colored uh, palette. We have some detail, but we're bringing a lot of that detail in with the napkins, the napkin nice. rings, and then these small natural touches. This is wheat oh, wow. from the craft store. Okay. Done. 
I mean, it's little tricks like this that can elevate your home decor and elevate your dining room table. Yeah. When you speak about, ele speaking of elevation, I mean, is it important also to have different heights in your presentation so not everything is just flat? I love the way you think. Exactly, <laughs> yes. So you could have something that's kind of flat. If you're having a large dinner party, sometimes you don't mm -hmm. want items getting in the way of conversation. Yeah. What I like to do is have those varying heights, but make sure there's pauses mm. between. So we have these tall candlesticks. These are a vintage item that I found at a garage sale. I was going to okay. ask where you found these because they are Aren't they timeless. Gorgeous? They're, they're from Paris. The little lady who said, you need these? I said, I do need these. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I put some specialty candles in them. We have our slightly tall floral arrangement. And then mm -hmm. over here, this is going to be our second arrangement. Oh. Ah, okay. That's your centerpiece? This is the centerpiece. Okay. And this is something that you can do on the fly. It's very flexible. All you need is some fruit that's in season yep. and flowers. And what's great about this is that it's very budget friendly. Okay. I know that a lot of us, when we're throwing a dinner party, a lot of the money, the funds are going into the and ingredients. And the food, right, the ingredients, the protein, yes. all the rest. You okay. just take extra ingredients. So show us how you make this into Absolutely. a centerpiece. Do you want to be a little hands-on help sure. me? Sure. Well, all right, do very do good. It. So. Grab some fruit, we're going okay. to arrange, and remember, the rule, rule of three. Of three. Of three. three. And to that, we're gonna add flowers. So I simply snipped those rose heads, and we're going to add them. You wanna add oh one over gosh. there? And just start to arrange. And we have okay. pears, Bartlett pears. We have some gala apples from my neck of the woods. You can add greenery. And so easy. It's so easy, I have more of that wheat over here. You can see this is how it comes from the craft store. Yep. Okay. We're gonna trim it up a little bit, add it to the top. So fun. See, isn't that so easy? Oh. And where, where do you think we need some more color? And that's the, the real beauty about flowers in particular, right. is that they're easy to use. They bring a lot of life and a lot of vibrancy right. to your table. And that's I it. also like that this is circular because no matter where you're sitting at the dinner table, yes. right? Like you can, exactly. it's exposed to you so you can exactly. see it. I love this. Yes. All right, what, what, when is our dinner party? Cause oh, <laughs> what time is it? <laughs> Come on over. Come to Boston. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Jesse. This is a real treat for us, and really so pretty. Gave me lots and lots mm, of ideas. Good ideas. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thanks, Jesse. Do yourself a favor. Get the book. Uh, it comes out October 28th, but is available for pre-order at straighttothehipsbaby.com.